Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 37 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 3. Length, breadth and height of a room are 825 cm, 675 cm and 450 cm respectively. Find the longest tape which can measure the three dimensions of the room exactly. Now you see in these type of questions everywhere you have a term like exactly or exact multiple or exact number of times which clearly says that uh, th there should be no half involved like if you are using a tape you can use a tape 10 times, 15 times, 20 times but not 5 and a half times, 12 and a half times not like that. So it should be like exact number of times. So let us say let us assume that the length of the tape is x centimeters. Now from the question it is very obvious that you want x to be repeated some 10 times or 20 times to measure 825. Similarly x has to be repeated some 20-30 times to measure 675. Again x needs to be repeated some 10-15 times to measure 450 centimeter. So basically x must be a factor of 825, 675 as well as 450. So that means x should be a common factor of 825, 675 and 450. Now since we have to find out the measurement of the longest tape. So basically we want to find out the value of the highest common factor which is HCF. So let us find HCF. So by prime factorization we will find it. So 5 into 165 again 5 into 33 this would be 3 into 11 this would be 11 into 1. So 825 can be written as 5 into 5 into 3 into 11. Now let us do it for 675. So 675 can be divided by 5 so this would be 135 again by 5. So this would be 27, now 3 9s are 27, 3 3s are 9 and 3 1s are 3. So 675 can be written as 5 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now let us look at the third number which is 450. So 3 into 150, then 3 into 50 and then 5 into 10, then 2 5s are 10, then 5 1s are 5. So basically 450 can be written as 3 into 3 into 5 into 2 into 5. So this is how we can write the three numbers in terms of its prime factors. Now let us look at the common factors 5. 5 is present in all of them. Another 5 is also present in all of them. So 5 occurs 2 times in all of them. What about 3? 3 again is present in all of them. So 3 is also a common factor. Is there anything else which is common in all of them? No. Therefore what would be HCF? HCF would be equal to 5 into 5 into 3. That is 75. So therefore the longest tape, the length of the longest tape would be 75 centimeters. Question number 4. Find the smallest 4 digit number which is divisible by 18, 24 and 32. Now when we say that this 4 digit number has to be divisible by 18, 24 and 32. That means that number is basically a common multiple of 18, 24 and 32. Correct. So we have to find out the smallest 4 digit number which is a common multiple of 18, 24 and 32. So let us find out the LCM. So when you find out so you, LCM you will be able to find out the least common multiple of 18, 24 and 32. So this is 2 9s are 18, 2 12s are 22, 2 16s are 32. Now again it will be 2 6 to 12, 2 8s are 16. Then again it would be 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8. Now this would be 3 3s are 9, 3 1s are 3. This is 4. So this would be 3 1s are 3, 1, 4. So this would again be 2, 1, 1, 2. And finally 1, 1, 1. So what is the LCM? 
LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 2 that is 8 into 9 into 4 so this is equal to 72 into 4 which is equal to 288 so this is the least common multiple but what do we have to find out we have to find out the smallest four digit number but this is a three digit number so therefore in order to find out greater multiples after 288 so 288 is like the minimum value of the common multiple so what are the what would be the next multiples so in order to find the next multiples we will find out multiples of 2 88. So how we will find out multiples of 288? 288 into 1 is 288. 288 into 2 is equal to 576. 288 into 3 is equal to 864. 288 into 4 is equal to 1152. 288 into 5 is equal to 1440. So which is the smallest four digit number? 1152, correct? So this is the smallest four digit number which is a common multiple of 18, 24 and 32. So whenever you have to find a common multiple, first calculate the least common multiple. So that means that is the minimum value of the common multiple. But there will be more common multiple existing between two or more numbers. So 288 is like the smallest value of the common multiple. Now if we want the smallest five digit number, we continue to find out greater multiples of 288. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.